This is my Frozen Transform, and as the screen has recently broken, I decided to take the opportunity to upgrade it to a 4K mono screen. The first thing I'll need to do is remove this glass and throw away the aluminium frame, because I'm going to 3D print a custom frame for the new mono screen. It will also mean swapping over some of the hardware like the VAT screws and the screws that hold down the frame. I'm also going to use this opportunity to clean up some of the inside. I found this STL file by Frank Collingwood on Thingiverse, the link is in the description. So I'm going to 3D print this and install it into the Frozen Transform. Now over to my Anycubic Cobra Max for the frame printing. This is going to take around about two and a half hours. This 3D printed frame incorporates a larger slot for the 4K mono screen circuit board to fit into. Now the frame is printed, I have to swap over the hardware and remove the glass. I'm applying a small amount of heat to the outer edge of the glass which will soften the glue and enable me to remove it easily. I've already swapped over the hardware, I'm just test fitting the glass before I bond it in place. I'll also do a test fit of the LCD screen. Because of the difference of the original screen to the 3D printed version, getting the holes to line up was a bit tricky. I then install the new driver board with the LCD screen and the glass underneath, and then I'm ready to do an LCD test. It was at this stage when I did the LCD test I got no response. I later learned I was using the wrong power supply. I was still using the original micro USB when the 4K mono screen requires a 12 volt 2 amp power supply. After swapping out the power supply and taping down the screen, the LCD test worked perfectly. My old broken frozen transform was now a 4K mono fast. Time to print. I need to print something for my next video, so I'm loading up via my computer to the transform. Now you will notice I'm using the new profile for mono fast. That's also in the description. I have filled the vat with resin and the print head is lowering down now. This print is going to take around about three hours.
This is a figure of Harry Potter. It's only the torso and the legs, as I did have some delamination from the print bed because the workshop is rather cold today. So I've reprinted those parts, but these ones came out perfectly. I can instantly see the improvement in the detail versus the old Frozen Transform. It is crisp detail and there is hardly any cleanup. And there we go from broken printer to 4K mono fast, better detail and faster turnaround. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.